yes so in this video i'm going to share with you in which type of matter conduction process can happen so in uh, if you say conduction can be takes place in solid in liquid and also in gas liquids and gases solids right so i have already shared with you if you have watched my videos if you haven't don't worry in this video i will share with you how it is happening in solids as well as liquids as well as in gases so let's get started with the first one that is solids so in case of solid what is happening exactly suppose that we are having a rod and this is a good conductor of heat that's why temperature i mean heat uh, uh, it can fall it can flow quite easily it transfer it quite easily and it, it transfer it quite uh, happen can quite easily but most important thing is that this uh, metal must have good thermal conductivity that's why heat transfer rate will be much more now suppose that in, in the, this rod is good conductor of heat right and its thermal conductivity is about 100 watt per meter kelvin suppose that we are giving a source of heat here in this side that's why the temperature of this side is 100 degree centigrade and this side is 30 degree centigrade so according to according to second law of thermodynamics we know heat is always flow from higher temperature to lower temperature so heat flow would be like this but the question is this how it is happening and why it is happening that's it that, that is the main reason i am creating this video to make you understand how heat transfer is taking place because of conduction in case of solids the same in liquids the same in gases if you understand this concept then you will remember for all the time why it is happening how it is happening this is most important these two questions can make you topper even in the college not only in the university examination in the competitive examination also so always ask two questions how it is happening and why it is happening these two questions can change your life my dear it, isn't that amazing i don't think so this is not amazing this is it ama this is amazing right so let's go for it what i am trying to share with you today that in case of solids what is happening in case of solids there are two main reasons because of those two reasons conduction process is going on what are do you wanted to know what are those reasons i think so you wanted to know right so here because of free electrons free electrons okay more free electrons will be in the solid the probability of heat transfer rate would be more thermal conductivity of that body will be more are you getting my point now second that's because of lattice vibration there are two most important reason that is why heat transfer is taking place in solids if you if you want to give percentage so lattice vibration because of lattice vibration there is 30 percent chance of 30 percent uh, 30 percent uh, contribution of heat transfer and because of free electrons 70 percent contribution of heat transfer so these two reasons are quite important now one more thing which is i have already shared with you but here i'm also sharing for revision or if you haven't watched those videos at least you will understand or you will get extra knowledge about it so what is that if you'll you know if you'll there are two uh, solid metal one is pure another one is alloy you know these days we are using alloy much more than pure uh, probably you have seen uh, we are using alloy wheel um in motorcycle also so uh we will see strength and durability then okay that's that's fine that's fine that's fantastic but if you'll see thermal conductivity then pure metal is always much more i'm uh, always having more thermal conductivity than alloy so this is the most important thing you need to remember if you are preparing for computer examination alloy means brass steel is also alloy pure metal means copper iron these are pure metal right now <clears throat> i have already shared with you what is solid and what is happening how it is happening i already shared with you in case of solid i hope you wanted to know in case what is happening in case of liquid right so let's go for it liquid 
so you know uh, this is strange and also new for many that uh, conduction can also takes place in liquids but my dear listen to me this is also you know this is also possible and this is this is possible that's why i'm sharing with you because i have also got this knowledge from my teacher right so what is conduction process in liquid in case of liquid what is happening that's because of you know uh, it is happening that's because of uh, because of uh, because of uh, you know the 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 process i mean the uh, the must say molecules molecules are directly connected with each other each other in case of liquid that's because of that molecules are directly connected to each other suppose that this liquid and we have put this liquid in a conduct in a, you know you know uh, you know in a bucket and uh, if we are supplying heat here if temperature or uh, will be increased here and then uh, he definitely if temperature will be increased in this side and uh, this side having less temperature then what will happen the this from this side this molecule will start moving to that side molecule and uh, they will connect with each other and you know heat transfer process will takes place that process is known as liquid conduction i mean conduction in liquid right now third process third in gases in gases so in gases what is happening i mean why it is happening that's because of molecular momentum transfer okay molecular momentum transfer of i mean mole, uh, momentum transfer of molecule you must say that also right so if you if you uh, if you uh, if you wanted to know its concept then i must say high high velocity and temperature high velocity and temperature molecules molecules collide with collide with low velocity low velocity and temperature molecules if high velocity temperature molecules will collide with low velocity temperature molecules then what will happen what will happen there would be transfer of heat taking place if there is temperature difference between one place and another place and this is the whole process in known is known as conduction in gases now one most important concept that is also important in case of competition if you are preparing for competition if you are preparing for competition then i must say i must share this thing with you right if you are preparing for competition then must say you will get question conduction in liquids as well as in gases right comparison this is most important conduction in liquids and gases so if we we'll, if we we'll compare then liquid conduction of liquid is having much more value much uh, i mean conduction conductivity of liquid is more than conductivity of gases and uh, you know probably you know or maybe you don't uh, you know you know ex you don't know exactly you know we used mercury we used mercury in thermometer we used mercury in thermometer you know why we are using there are few reasons just like mercury mercury is low pressure because of low pressure and because of high density uh, high conductivity i must say high conduct not density high conductivity and this is a liquid but of course this is a metal liquid metal and you know the thermal conductivity of uh, mercury is 8.1 watt per meter kelvin mercury right so mercury is having maximum highest thermal conductivity among liquids and uh, if you say gases gases having very less thermal conductivity there is one reason water is having more thermal conductivity i mean uh, i'm sorry liquid having more thermal conductivity than gases because in liquid molecules are attached together directly but in gases there is little bit difference that's why in case of gases heat transfer is taking place because of high temperature and high velocity molecules molecule is collide with high i'm sorry low temperature and low velocity molecule that's because of these two reasons uh, you know the te the temperature is uh, i mean heat is transferring higher temperature to lower temperature in case of gases as well as in case of liquid now let me share with you another graph okay so what is what's that graph that graph will show you thermal conductivity in gases okay what per meter kelvin and thermal uh, temperature okay so h2 then helium i must say air 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 having very less thermal conductivity about 0.026 watt per meter kelvin 
clear having very less thermal conductivity one more thing if temperature of if temperature if temperature of gases temperature of gases here from here we can understand that gases will increase if temperature will increase then thermal conductivity of gases will also increase but remember my dear this is i mean if temperature temperature is increasing thermal conductivity is also increasing but this is happening only in case of gas are you getting my point this is happening in case of gas only so this is all about all about i mean all about uh, conduction taking place in solid liquid and gas okay thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye